Hi friends, welcome back to Mangalore and Taste Parts by Asha. Today I'll show you how I make chicken biryani. Biryani is a mixed rice dish originating among the people of the Indian subcontinent. It is made with spices, rice and meat or eggs, vegetables such as potatoes in certain re regional varieties. Biryani is one of the most popular dishes in South Asia as well as other parts of the world. Biryani is one of the most amazing royal delicacies. Earlier biryanis were made only for certain occasion, functions etc. But these days people make it as and when they crave for it. It is a, has a lengthy preparation but the work, work is definitely worth it. I also add potatoes to my biryani but you can skip them if you wish. I feel potatoes enhances the taste of the biryani. So let's check out the ingredients. If you are new to my channel, a warm welcome. If you like this recipe of mine, do give a thumbs up and click the like button. If you have tried this recipe, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have, uh, if you like this recipe, please click the like button and give a thumbs up. So let's get started. Here I've taken half a cup of curds. This is two tablespoons of ginger, garlic, green chili paste. This is one teaspoon of one teaspoon cumin seeds. Three teaspoons of coriander seeds powder. One teaspoon turmeric powder. One teaspoon garam masala powder. This is Kashmiri chili powder, two teaspoons, two pieces cinnamon stick, three cardamom pods, around eight cloves, around 12 to 15 peppercorns. This is half teaspoon, half to three, four teaspoon of cumin powder. Give it a nice good mix. And this is 1 kg of chicken bone in. You can use boneless also but I feel bone in enhances the taste of the biryani. Mix it well with the masala. and leave it overnight. Here I have taken around green chilies. They are not very spicy. Around 5 to 7 green chilies. Cut them into two. One small tomato. Not very small. Medium sized tomato. And chopped coriander and mint leaves. See that you don't cut the mint ahead of time. It turns black. This is fried onions, around four of them. Now in the same pot in which you have fried onions, use the remaining oil and add the marinated chicken along with the tomatoes, onions, coriander, mint, everything and cook it. If you feel you require a little extra oil, you can add. It will release its own water and cook it till it is done. At this point of time you can check for salt. <coughs> cook till the meat is 90% done. Then it will cook on dum. The remaining 10% will cook on dum. I have added a little oil. This is 800 grams of rice. By boiling the rice I have used whole spices, one teaspoon of whole spices. Now in a cooking pot, add ghee at the bottom and this is sliced onions. I've sliced them into thick slices and arrange it at the la bottom layer. This way when it cooks on them, the onions, will, the potatoes will get fried nicely. Sprinkle a little mint and coriander leaves then 
add a layer of rice and then you can add the cooked meat arrange it in a single layer add all the masala finally add a little chopped mint and coriander leaves add color of your choice either yellow or orange and let it sit for the dum for 12 to 15 minutes see that it's on very slow flame by then the potatoes will get nicely cooked it will get slight caramelized do give it a try i'm sure you too will enjoy this quick and yummy biryani thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click the bell icon to get notified as and when i upload a new recipe the list of name ingredients is given in the description box below so my sweet friends hope you have enjoyed this quick and yummy recipe stay tuned for more such interesting recipes till we meet again check out my other recipes at mangalore and taste buds by asha bye see you soon with a new interesting recipe take care